Hi there, it's Donna from Tappy Crafting. Um, I've got a project today using um, a technique that I didn't know anything about until about a week ago. And it's called the Spotlight Technique. And I've been practicing with this and I just did some stamping on um, on a just a sheet of paper. And uh, this is what I come up with. So I'm going to make a card using the same stamp set. So I'm going to start featuring over these next few weeks stamp sets that are retiring. Um, our new catalogue will go live at the beginning of June, but I'm going to start showcasing those stamp sets that are soon to retire. So this is going to be your last opportunity to get hold of them. And I love this stamp set. It's absolutely beautiful. This butterfly is gorgeous. And that flower, just so lovely. And it's perfect for using stamping blends um, to do some colouring, if, if that's what you like to do. So what I'm going to do is show you how I did this. It's super, super simple. Um, you will just need, I'm going to use basic grey. I've used black here, it's too stark. So I'm going to be using basic grey, the beautiful day stamp set. And the two colours that I'm going to be using, this one is Light Daffodil Delight and this one is Light Highland Heather. I think that yellow and purple go together beautifully. Um, I'm also going to be using for my sentiment the I'm Lucky to Have a Friend Like You sentiment from the Love What You Do stamp set, which is also sadly retiring. This is probably one of my most well used stamp sets um, just because it's got some lovely sentiments and flowers on there. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that I want to start with is a card base and I've just got a pre-made card base here. So this will measure, if you're using this from cardstock, this will measure what will that measure? Eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. And then you'll score down the long side at four and an eighth. And then with a bone folder or a ruler, I'm just going to burnish that fold line there. So that's what we start with. Then I'm going to use some yellow cardstock. It doesn't matter what yellow, there's Daffodil Delight. Um, there is, oh, I've forgotten the yellow names. Daffodil Delight, Pineapple Punch is another one. And there's another whose name escapes me, but any yellow cardstock that you've got. And I'm going to trim this. I should have done this before I started. And I'm going to trim this to a tad under four inches by five and three quarters. And there's my card base. So what I've done, um, I could have used Highland Heather, which is what I've got in here, but I don't have any Highland Heather cardstock. Um, this, I don't believe, is Pineapple Punch. I'm not sure what this one is. I just picked out, oh, this is Daffodil Delight. This is Pineapple Punch. Um, it doesn't, it really doesn't matter. You use what you've got. And this is always the time of year when the um, catalogue is starting to... Um, come to an end. I need to trim that a bit more. When the catalogue is coming to an end, I like to then start using up everything that I've got. I just want to trim a little bit more off of there, just an eighth of an inch, or actually a sixteenth of an inch that is. I just think my card base is slightly bigger than I was expecting it to be. That's better. So I've just got a nice frame all the way around that. I'm just going to glue that onto there, just with some liquid glue. If it will come out, there we go. But you could use tear and tape nail any of those dispenser glues is fine and for regular watchers of my videos you know why I use liquid glue so that we can just have a little wiggle if we need to so that's the first layer of my card now the card that we're going to be using for stamping I need that to be I want a nice 
I want a, a nice big ish border around there. So I'm going to trim this to five and a half by three and three quarters. And if I layer that on there, that gives a nice border all the way around. We can properly see that yellow there. But I'm not going to stick that on there yet. So that's what I'm going to use for stamping. And the other thing that I need is a scrap of white to put onto my card so I can stamp over that. And I'm going to take the one and a half, the one and a half inch circle punch and get some card, just a little bit of scrap. And I'm going to punch that out there like that. And I'm going to put that on there so that I can stamp over it. Let's just put that to one side. So I've got here a E block or an E block. Now this beautiful day stamp set of mine is an old one. It's the old um, clear mount stamp. We have cling stamps now which uh, perform much much better. Just need to give that a good press on there to make sure it doesn't come off. And I'm going to stamp this in basic grey. Let's just get that ready. And I'm just going to stamp that all over. On these bigger stamps, I take the ink to the stamp rather than the stamp to the ink. I probably over-inked that a bit there. This is a new stamp pad. It's a bit on the juicy side. So we've got that. Now, let's bring in this back. So what I want to do is similar to what I've done here, I just want this spotlight part to be over the top uh, top right part of my image. So I'm going to put that there. I'm probably going to have my sentiments on the lower part of the of the lower part of the card. So I'm going to put that there. Now you could glue it down. Um, I didn't glue it down yesterday when I did it and it worked. So let's just see how it goes. You've just got to make sure that you get your stamp down straight away. So what I'm going to do is just hover that over there like that. Let's just go for it. It goes down and then just give it a good press. There we go, that's come out all right. So let's take that away, because that's the bit we're going to colour. And then we're going to put that to one side. So take that, I'm just gonna get a bit of scrap card to put behind it. So what we've got here, we've got the antennae of the butterfly there, and then the start of its wings. And I'm just going to colour um, in no, no kind of particular order in which I do this. And then I've put the card behind it so that I can colour over the edge. And now I'm going to put some there. These two are going to be yellow. I'm going to make that purple as well. And let's have this bit purple. Like that. And then just colour in those other bits with our Daffodil Delight. So nothing artistic needed here. If you haven't got blends, you could use the watercolour pencils um, or you could use the aqua painter and use some ink. You can use ordinary felt tips. Go and raid the kids' pencil cases. Go and find some felt tips. But I think basically just go ahead and have some fun with it. So there's our colouring done. And if we go back to the original that I made, what I'm going to do is actually form a layer behind it. Um, and it just makes it look more like your proper spotlighting into that part of that stamp. 
so I need some black cardstock for that. You could use grey if you wanted to, doesn't matter. I think I don't have any um, basic grey kicking around, so I've gone with black. So just a scrap of it, and I've got the one and three quarter inch circle punch here. And I think this one has actually retired. So all you need are just two circles, just one slightly bigger than the other. So you could cut round a circle that's slightly bigger than this one and a half inch. You don't have to use that particular size, you can use whatever size you like. Um, but you just need something big enough in order to showcase just probably no more than a quarter of your image. Uh, right, so I want to mount that not using any mini dimensionals here. I don't think, in my opinion, I don't think it works with mini dimensionals. I think it needs to be flat. But I'd be happy to be proved wrong on that. So I'm just going to put that on there. And it's just smooshed. Get that off, oh that's okay. I was worried that was gonna make the ink run. Okay, so back to our card. What I want to do is stick this down. Let's just have a little practice of us sticking down. So you stick it down and then try to just match those lines up. And I think that matches, just looking at where all these other lines are here, I think that matches there. And again, liquid glue to stick that down. I'm not using dimensionals. I want this nice and flat. So liquid glue again. Or you could use tail tape, that would work just as well. So just hover it over first. And then because we're using liquid glue here, I can just have a little move about. Yeah, I'm happy with that. No, it's got to come up a bit more. That's it. Yep, that'll do it. Decision made. So there we have our spotlight stamping. Now, while we're here, I want to make a sentiment here. So I'm going to take some of the yellow card that I had before, but I need to make sure that it will fit this. Um, no, this one. I'm lucky to have a friend like you. So what I'm going to do is stamp that onto some white cardstock first. And I think what I'm going to do is stamp that using Highland Heather. So I've got my Highland Heather to pick up it from my butterfly. Um, I've got a, this one is a D block. So the Love What You Do stamp set. So sad it's retiring. This really is a favorite. And it's photopolymer as well. I tend to prefer the photopolymers. And I'm just going to stamp that using Highland Heather. I'm not going to use yellow. I don't think it would stand out enough. So I'm just going to stamp that on there. And I'm going to see what circle punch I've got that's going to fit that. This one might be a bit too small. Yeah, so I'm going to need my two inch punch. So the two inch, that fits that perfectly like that. And then using the two and a quarter inch punch, I've cut out some black, but it's covering up that lovely butterfly and I just don't think we can get away with doing that. So we need to go to plan B. So I think I want to find a sentiment. So I'm going to use the thank you that's in here. Or let's try the happy birthday. Let's just stick with the beautiful day stamp set. Let's just change our minds halfway through a project. So back to my E block. And I'm going to stamp that on there because I want a birthday card because I can't get to shops at the moment. Um, my husband's doing all the food shopping and things, but we're just trying to avoid, if we can, 
the non-essential stuff. So, and that's just a good excuse to make some birthday cards. So I'm going to take a strip of Whisper White cardstock and I am going to trim that to one inch. And the length of that is going to be, I need that to be three and a quarter. That's much better. And then that is just going to sit very nicely on there, like that. And then get your basic black. So if that is one and a quarter by three and a quarter, or do we say one inch? So we want, that's it. So we want this to be one and an eighth wide by three and three eighths. Not on that side, on that side like that. Okay, so let's just get some, I've got some memento here, rather than using the gray, I'm going to use memento ink. It's a big old stamp, so I'm going to take, it's a big old, yeah, a stamp, so I'm gonna take the ink to the stamp. Just gonna line that up on there. Get that central. And stamp that down. Lovely. And I am going to use dimensionals on this one and just raise that up a little bit. Now this is what happens when I craft. You just get to see this exactly what happens in my craft room in that I start something and then change my mind part way through. And that's what that's what crafting is all about. It's just about going with the flow with what you feel happy to do. And I've got the shakes and can't get this to stick. That's better. Okay, and then I'm going to put that, well, before I put that on there, I'm going to put it on my card. Let's get that back over here. I'm going to put that on there like that, just with some liquid glue again. And then just using liquid glue, I'm going to just stick my sentiment to the bottom of the card like that. So the only pop of color really that I've got on here now is within this bit and then around the outside. So we've got that, but there are a couple of things I just want to put on there just to, just to bling it up a little bit. So I've got some rhinestones here. I love these. And I'm going to, I just use these, I don't know where these came from, but they're brilliant. And I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to put that there, just like that. And that is where I'm going to leave it. So there we have a card using the spotlight stamping technique. Um, I hope that inspires you to have a go at something just completely different. So I didn't know what this was until a week ago. Um, 
just looked it up on Pinterest and thought, ah, oh, there we go. You can use it with any stamp set. The bigger the stamp set, the better, I would say. Um, and then just, just go with it. So I hope that inspires you and I'll be back again soon um, with another project for you. See you again. Bye bye.